Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm your rabbit. We are staring at another one of the street cars in almost its entire form. We're doing some shakedown on this car and some final testing. As you can see, some styling has been done to this RX-8 with a different, you know, exhaust, RPF1 wheels, some NRG interiors. We've also set it up with headlights as well as a custom Type S underbody kit that can be turned on separately from the headlights so definitely something very fun so make sure you guys follow me on all social media all which found in the description box below let's get to it all right so we got to get the wheel cam turned on so that you guys can actually see what's going on with the full wheel cam and everything like that so with having those type s lights underneath the car you got to know when they're coming on so you know on the left of the steering wheel there is a little type s box that when you turn the type s lights on that does light up to let you know that type s lights are on so and they are separate from the headlights toggling on and off so you can run those without the headlights or with them so we're going to go full shake down the star seven and see a little bit of testing on the the motor and the tune and things like that. Cars are in their final testing stages for when it comes to physics. We just are doing some modeling and things like that to them. Ooh, I thought I was gonna go over that. Modeling and stuff to them to give it a little personalizing style from the factory car. So we here at Aussie, Aussie Drift Coat 2020. Trying to get this R7 shake down a little bit. Try to reach this all the way out. Okay, that Toyota tires wall. Not head into it. Oh, we're gonna head into it. I knew that as soon as we went that way, we we're gonna hit it. Kicking it out this way. So this has been definitely a fun pack. I almost took the front end of the car up. Fun pack building these street cars and getting them dialed in. Like I said, just some styling aspects left before we can get these cars fully out and released. Definitely need to change that gearing slightly because we are just on the red line there. They're running into that wall almost. Let's get click. Nope, force gear bogging down a little bit too much there. Up that hill. Bring that to entire wall again. Run this a little bit in third person as well. Curse of rotary. Definitely got to keep this car high in the bands. those type s lights on right now this car does have green so each car will have different colors based on the car color so every even if every rx7 will have different color lights depending on the livery that it has so some styling things and stuff like that that are going to be different for each car even if you're in the same car they're going to be slightly different when it comes to how the cars look but definitely needed to put that type s indicator on the inside of the car so that people could see when the Type S lights were actually on from inside the car. Kind of bogging it down. We're gonna try a huge jump right here. got it without having to use handbrake definitely a major plus of course you know we do have my channel supporters on the back window of this car we were at drift division logo full of water and energy innovations two of the biggest supporters of the channel right now do we have a gopro on the back side of this car to get all those you know cinematic tandem shots working on trying to get that camera to be an actual camera for when you want to run 
some replays and stuff trying to figure that one out so that you can actually watch it from that GoPro position if you wanted to. Definitely loving how this R7 is handling it. You gotta keep this thing up in high revs, like I said. Curse of a rotary. Oh, I thought we were gonna have that when we were too much up on the wall. So you guys did see the Stingray, the Mustang, and now the RX-7. So there's a couple more cars in the mix that will be coming out in this street pack. So definitely check the channel and the Instagram to keep in date with when these things are be coming out hopefully very soon. Like I said, I just have some styling and stuff to do on the cars, you know, change the wheels, get the interior all dialed in with, of course, some handbrakes. The NRG equipment on the inside because you know gotta support the NRG brand. We need to add a little bit more gearing to this car or adjust some of the tune because all the cars will have a base tune on them, so you should be able to get onto it and just hop in and drive it, and they should all have a very similar base tune to run with each other within their own handling characteristics of the car. That's kind of a lot of fun. Kind of keeping it matted just to make sure we're staying in power. We can't run that Toyota tire wall. Oh, I mean, we can run into it. We're going to change tracks and do another test, so we'll catch you guys when we get on grid. So another aspect of these cars that I have been working on... Let's type fast lights on. Working on with a few people that are testing with me is the ability to run some tandem tracks because having street cars that can run in, like, street-style competitions and street-style tandems are definitely a very plus. So we're going to run here at Kill Care. U.S. Drift. Pop in third. Oh, ball tap in the RX-7. Other than the wall tap, we're coming back on the inner part of the track. So, I stalled that out. One thing that I've definitely been working a lot on is to develop a good bass tune for these cars for everybody to be able to just get in the car and just go full send on it without having to worry too much about tuning and things like that because a lot of people may not know how to do full tuning so out of the box car ready to rip is definitely a good thing to have. I thought I was going to go full send into that wall. So definitely not the cleanest of runs, but it was actually a very solid run. And I definitely enjoy it. The little details that we're putting into this car, you know, for these car pack release so let's go one more send here that's where i wanted to be oh i missed that zone by a lot we'll take a look at the actual replay and see where we were actually at But overall, that second part of that was not too bad. Let's go take a look at that replay. Of course, uh, we have AI turned off, so we're going to have to go into F5 camera because we have the AI turned off for competition. So 
Trying to see where we're at. Okay, so this was a this was the run. Oh. I kind of want to see where we were on the wall, really. Oh, we were nice and deep in that zone. I'll take that. Oh, we're way off that zone now. So a little bit of tuning left for these cars and some styling and some other cars. This car being an RPF1 is definitely a nice fit. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of which found in the description box below. And as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Yul Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.